Top 10 Reasons Not to Move to Madison, Wisconsin Madison is the capital of the U.S. state of Wisconsin. It is the second largest city in Wisconsin by population after Milwaukee and the 81st largest in the United States. Madison is a growing technology economy and has many biotech companies operating there. In 2018, Madison was ranked in the top 10 cities for young entrepreneurs. Madison is named for the U.S. founding father James Madison. It is home to eight national historic landmarks, including one UNESCO World. World Heritage Site. Let's begin. Number 10. The Nightlife Sucks. The nightlife is not the best. Madison is classed as a small city where you have a few bars and clubs and it gets boring quite quickly. People don't like hanging out that often. It gets dark quickly in the winters. You get mostly students congregating in the bars. What can a student afford? They have no money. It is bad business for nightclubs and many have closed down throughout the years as more and more students are drinking less and less alcohol. Number 9. Protest Madison is known for its protests. The city has held hundreds of protests over the years. This could be because of the university, but you will see protests for lame reasons. You can join in the march to downtown. You can be with the crowd. These protests tend to swing with the lefties. So if you are for having women rights, gay rights, better environment, then you'll fit in easily. But if you are conservative, these protests will be really annoying. Protests can happen randomly, even from a social media post. The liberals are pretty mad these days. They get triggered a bit too quick and start crying about it in public. It's a mad world. Number eight. It's a college town. Well, you have a lot of students in the city. They will be going around the city, buying drinks and partying 24-7. Businesses tend to target students, so expect food to be cheap and have average quality. You will see people around the age of 20s. If you have passed your 40s, then you will look a bit odd in the city, unless you are interested in getting your ways and there are some easy pickings for the older gents. Very creepy. Number seven, loneliness. You will be lonely in Madison as people tend to stay indoors a lot. So make sure you make friends when you're at work or college. This is essential to have a healthy mind. And since we humans like some communication in our lives as we are social animals. Number six, crime. The crime rate in Madison is sometimes portrayed as being bad. There are stabbings and people getting robbed in the city. Students are vulnerable in getting attacked for money and women are vulnerable from being attacked. It is a very good idea to carry pepper spray only if you are white. If you're black, Hispanic, you'll be put in jail. Guaranteed. Number 5. Public Transport the public transport is not that good. It is a small city, yet the transport system is not reliable. There are limited services and the roads get blocked every time due to traffic and heavy snow in the winter. The public transport costs a lot for a crap service, but people are willing to have that typical service. And at the same time, people are getting triggered on social media. What a Republican member said, it's a very touchy-feely city where nothing gets done. Making commutes is difficult by bus, but by car is just as bad. Madison has bad laws when it comes to transport. Lawmakers love finding people every time they park somewhere legal, but the signs are never updated and there are no paint marks to indicate if they are allowed to park on the side of the road. It's like they want people to pay fines, so they keep filling their own pockets. Number 4. Allergies. If you have allergies, you will suffer as it is a high pollen city. Many individuals would have to stop doing what they've been doing in order to stay away from sneezing every time on others. It is embarrassing and it is annoying. Talking about sneezing, since we had the pandemic, you can wear masks to cover your nose and hopefully people won't bother you and it will be socially acceptable to wear face masks. In Madison, you are at risk from grass pollen. This type of pollen attacks most of the people in Madison, so avoid areas of nature unless you are medicated and have protection before you explore the natural world. However, these allergies only trigger in the summer months. Number three, liberal. The city is liberal and they are good at complaining. Very good. Always complaining about what is wrong about the city and never having the balls to address the problem. I don't get it. Why there are so many hypocrites in the city. Yes, you want equality, but there is no high paying jobs in the city, good transport system and a great area where people can hang out. The liberals are a cold bunch. People don't have good standards in the city. It's a disgrace. 
Number two, health issues. There is a huge mental health crisis. Young teens are the ones that suffer from it the most. Research indicates it could be from being on social media way too often and a bit too long. And remember, people are often isolated in Madison and that's, that's why they stay online most of the times. As mentioned above, people have more online friends than real life friends. So they tend to delve into things that they would not dream of doing in real life. However, these people often get very depressed when they don't get enough attention or they get bullied by a supposed friend they made online. Not just young folks are having problems with their head, but adults too. When you go out, you will find many crazy people talking a lot of rubbish that they are the main. I'm the man, I'm the man, I'm the man. They are the man, the man. I'm the man, I'm the man, I'm the man. I believe every lie that I ever told. The man. And some claim to be Jesus. Jesus. There's a guy in the city who claims he saw JFK. What are these people on? They must be on some nasty shit. You may be thinking why are people so isolated in Madison? I'll tell you now. Number one, it is very cold. Winters are really cold. Sub-zero cold. Frosty, frosty, frosty cold. It goes way beyond freezing into the minuses. Homeless people die from cold each year. Winter normally lasts for five months. And that is a long time. How would you cope winter? Do you have what it takes to live in a cold environment? It can go down to minus 20 degrees Celsius. In addition, people fall a lot. Since winters last for a long time, you have to go outside to work and buy groceries. So you have to be extra careful where you put your footing as black ice is present everywhere you go. Plus it is dark so you can't even see the ice. And if you trod on ice, you will go flying to Jesus. And there we have it. What do you think of the list? Let me know what you think. Your comments are important. Subscribe to the channel and I will see you in another time.